Hey, how you doing, Sheriff Allen? It's fine, thank you. Okay, we understand that you made uh, a little discovery in your office a couple of weeks ago. Yes, uh, I was researching some old evidence and I uh, was looking through a dead storage area uh, that's in the basement of the courthouse. It's a, a filing area for old court records. And I came across this envelope that had Charles Harden Holly's name on it. Uh, and the envelope contained uh, what I'm sure are his glasses, along with uh, a wristwatch that had uh, J.P. Richardson's name on it, and also the uh, indicating numbers that uh, refer to the coroner's file that was uh, filed with the clerk of court back in 1959 when the uh, air crash occurred. So, uh, it's Buddy Holly's glasses. That's right. No question about it. Were they uh, were they in one piece, you know, or? The glasses are all intact, with of course, with the exception of the uh, lenses. Uh, one bow is broken, and they uh, uh, have some damage to the surface of the glasses, which uh, coincide with the type of injuries that he suffered at the uh, in the crash. What have you done with the glasses? Well, they're still in my possession. Actually, they're in the they're in the possession of the uh, court, uh, the district court here. Uh, there was some other property that had been previously recovered after the uh, uh, initial property had been returned by the coroner, and the court required uh, a court order to uh, release the property and. Uh, as was the case with his wristwatch uh, back in 1959, uh, there was a court order entered and that property was sent to his family. The uh, same will be true here uh, with the proper showing by uh, members of the family uh, who would be entitled to the property. Uh, the district court judge will then enter an order and the property will be turned over to whoever is uh, that were directed by the court to do so. Uh huh. Let me ask you this. Were you on the force at the time of the crash? Yes, I was. Uh, were you uh, on the scene? Yes, I didn't get there at the time. Uh, I was out of town at the time it happened, but I came later. Uh, my deputies were there uh, on the scene from shortly after it was discovered until the wreckage was cleared up. What, uh, what would you estimate was the... Uh, altitude that they fell from uh, based on uh, the condition the wreckage was in? Well, I had two, two of my deputies at that time were both commercial pilots. They had both flown this particular airplane. Uh, they were quite familiar with the area and, and the uh, weather circumstances surrounding it. It appeared that the uh, pilot uh, taking off in a northwesterly direction, uh, which would be the, the proper uh, runway at the time that it happened uh, and also would be in the direction he would be heading to go to Moorhead, Minnesota. Uh, it appears that the some weather conditions came in the, around the plane and uh, the officers that, that I talked to, and this is not based on FAA findings uh, that I know of, but the, the officers seem to think that the pilot may possibly have been flying to stay under the clouds or under the uh, the weather and it appeared to them uh, that the airplane was almost in a well it wasn't a flying position when it hit the ground uh, skidded along the ground for some several hundred feet before uh, uh, coming apart and uh, of course causing the death of people so it was Apparently, it looked to them like the airplane was flying at ground level when it crashed. Uh huh. Is there any sort of uh, monument or anything up there? Oh, no. um, strange coincidence. Uh, the afternoon before yesterday, another light plane uh, crashed within 200 feet or within 200 yards of the uh, exact spot where Holly's plane went down. Uh, it's not a, uh, it was just a, a, a fluke, but uh, no, there's nothing there. The uh, 
the farm field is still there. The same people don't own the farm anymore. They're, they've retired, and the man that owned it has since died. Uh-huh. Okay, well, we appreciate talking with you, Sheriff Allen, and take care of Buddy Holly's glasses. <laughs> we'll, we'll dispose of them uh, best way we can, I guess. Okay, and you have yourself a good Easter. Thank you, and the same with you.